Jeff Katz, former mayor David. of Cooperstown, author of Split Season 1981, yes. general baseball person. Yes. Uh, you want to open a 30 cent pack of 1981 Fleer baseball and remember mm. some guys? I do want to remember some guys. Do you want? Am I testing you? Oh, I don't think that would be a good one. <laughs> it's Dave Roberts, not the Dave Roberts that we know and love. I didn't even think of that Dave Roberts. There was another Dave Roberts who was the third baseman for the Padres we need in the 30s. New and better names. Dave Roberts had great years with, I think, San Diego and Houston. That's correct. And uh, my God. And was really kind of a signature Padres star. Yeah. That wasn't Nate Colbert. Wow, back he was then. super good. Yeah, I think in 71 he might have been like top three ERA. Check that yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, this is terrifying. Yes, it's 2.10 <laughs> ERA. That's probably in the top three. Remember anything else about Let's this go guy? Top you three. freak. <laughs> then, so, so he went from the Padres to Houston. Yes, he did, and he pitched. Then he well. went from Houston to Detroit, uh, but I don't know for who, because I know I can picture him as another hostess card. That was a bad airbrush job. They you should rise. point out that you have like. I have a lot of cards. But also, like, a normal life. <laughs> but I do spend more time than the average 55-year-old should with baseball cards. Check it out. It's Alfredo Griffin. Uh, Co-rookie of the year. Yeah. With John Castino. When he started for the 88 champion Dodgers. Mm -hmm. May have been, like, the worst shortstop yeah. of a championship team ever. Hit 230, also hated taking walks, and <laughs> whenever he would try to steal a base, would just like yeah. abruptly like turn around halfway through yeah. and be like, I know. And, 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 <laughs> He's like, like the perfect 1981 player. Yes, he kind of is. Here's a rare sort of an action photo. I always loved how blurry this shit was at oh, this nice. era. It's Gary Lucas. Gary Lucas. The places that he played, I'm just going to read them in order because it's like that, it's like the Johnny Cash song. Um, <laughs> Walla Walla, Reno, Amarillo, Hawaii. Wow. And then San Diego. He's when you read about guys who played for Hawaii, for the Islanders, mm -hmm. when they were home for homestands, Hawaii was like the greatest minor league experience it of amazing. their lives. It's Tony Scott, director of Top Gun. There's a great picture, I think, of Tony Scott and Gary Templeton after the Cardinals had lost something serious. Mm -hmm. Both looking just like sad. forlorn, <laughs> forlorn yeah. in the dugout. So th I, I think of Tony Scott and I think sad. I don't I, think Top Gun. I was hoping that we'd get one of these really severe, like, bouncer-faced guys, and we do. It's Dave McKay. Not pleased with you in this photo. I don't know what I did to him, but yeah. he's looking me down. <laughs> he's coaching somewhere still, Arizona. I was watching the game. Makes Maybe sense. Washington. Yeah, first base coach. And he was, I think he was like a La Russa lackey. That would make like sense. Like, wherever Lucerne, he was yeah. like... Whereas Duncan was like the great pitching coach, yeah. Dave McKay was that guy. The other guy base. that was constantly standing around. But I think... He's also Canadian. Like, the one that? unlikable Canadian. Right. Vern Rule. I think Vern Rule was who the Astros got for Dave Roberts when they traded him from, uh, when the Astros sent Houston, when the Astros sent Roberts from Houston to Detroit, Detroit. they got Vern Rule. That checks out. Puzzle made. My God. Transaction complete. Not even a Donruss pack. Cliff Johnson, anything? A slugger. Mm -hmm. Came up with the Astros, but was on the Yankees in 77 and yes. 8? Yep. So he's part of that championship team. And he was always just a, a, you know, like backup catcher. Did break uh, Gossage's arm in a clubhouse fight nice, in '79. Cool. Goose Gossage, friend of the uh, friend of the friend. series. <laughs> I've called him a turd on here at least once. I do have his number on my cell That's phone. Cool. If you'd yeah, like, I would uh, love to get like my that. ass beat up by <laughs> Goose Gossage. We'll do that later. Yeah, yeah. Here's a guy that I remember because he got in a big fight with Kevin Mitchell when I was a kid. Mario Soto. Uh, Soto. Soto was a uh, very good know, pitcher. He had a signature pitch. I think it was a slider that yeah. was like the envy, like Burt Blylevin's curveball or whatever. He was like the, the, equivalent the state of the art with that yeah, pitch. Yeah, the Soto. And then, of course, he blew his arm out. Yeah. He was brilliant this year, though. 126 hits and 190 innings. Yeah. That will play. He was, he was solid. I did not plan this. Obviously, you know I couldn't possibly have planned it. It's the other Dave Roberts. Yay! <laughs> so, and long still time. not the most famous Dave no. Roberts. Anything on this guy? There's a great 74 Dave Roberts card in action mm -hmm. as a Padre, kind of like going back, probably chasing a pop into fell territory. Yep. That is my signature Dave uh, Roberts It might thought. have been about as good as it got for him. I think it was. Jeff, we remembered a lot of guys today. <laughs> we sure did. We sure did. <laughs> and you know what? I'd do it again. Oh, I would too. We have 12 more packs, All right. so for anyone who wants to stay late, cool. we'll be here. I'm going to uh, cancel my uh, <laughs> therapy for later this I week. I have to be back on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>